The next type of context variable is trigger dot old. As the name suggests, trigger dot new returns the list of the s object records uh, because of which the execution got initiated. Similarly, trigger dot old returns the previous version of the s object records because of which the trigger execution got initiated. As simple as that. What I mean by that is, imagine you are updating a record. While updating a record, you want to access the previous record as well as the new updated record as well. Both in the same code uh, which is written into the particular trigger. So how you're gonna do that? With the help of trigger.new, you'll be able to access the newer version of the S object record. And with the help of trigger.old, you'll be able to access the older version of the S object record uh, into the trigger. Let me give you an example in order to make you understand this a little easier. Imagine uh, you want this to be implemented. Like uh, there's a sales executive who has created or who had created an opportunity earlier. And when, uh, like after that, there is another sales executive who is trying to modify the amount of that particular opportunity by anything, who has got access to that particular record. You don't want that to happen. So in that case, you would need the earlier value as well as the new value. Because the amount field is of course editable to, for all the sales executives and everything, but you do not want the other sales executive to change the amount once it is set, right? So in this case, you need to access the previous value of that amount on, the, on that opportunity record as well as the newer amount to what uh, this another sales executive is setting it to, right? So in this situation, uh, we have written down this trigger over here. Let's have a look at it. And by the way, trigger.old is only available in update and delete triggers, not in insert and undelete triggers. And the reason is very simple. While you're inserting a new record, how can there be an older version of that particular record, right? So there's no trigger.old, uh, so trigger.old context variable is not available in uh, insert trigger as well as similarly in the delete trigger as well. And now just let's just come back to this and have a look at the trigger that we have written down over here. So over here what we are trying to do is, uh, we have created this, uh, we have just bulkified it so that it happens for all of the records, even if we are updating the records, uh, Updating multiple records at, at one go, uh, there shouldn't be any problem with it. So we have bulkified it already. So over here, trigger.old is returning the older value to us. And for every older value, what we are doing is, we are traversing every new value and we are checking that if the old opportunity ID is equals to new opportunity ID, and old opportunity amount is not equals to new opportunity amount. That basically means that the same opportunity record uh, has got its amount fields value got upda uh, updated. So in that situation, it should show an error. And how it will show an error is with the help of new op, which is the, just the reference variable in which uh, we are accessing the new record. And dot add error is, uh, is something that helps you show an error uh, while you are uh, show an error with the help of code inside, uh, like in, on the UI when you are trying to update a particular record uh, or yeah, edit a particular record or delete a particular record. If the trigger doesn't want, uh, uh, if, if the trigger doesn't want to want want to allow you to do that particular database operation, uh, we can use the dot add error method, and uh, with the help of it, uh, will not like the user will not be able to make any database operation. Uh, for that particular situation or for that particular scenario. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's see how this uh, code gets executed. So we'll just go to the opportunity tab. Mm, we'll create a new opportunity, let's say. Sell Yeti Gulas, whatever the close date we wanna keep. Amount is something like, let's say, it's 25 what? lakh and we'll just save it. Oh, stage needs analysis, save. The record got saved and when we'll go back and edit the amount fields value to let's say 50 lakhs and we'll try to save it, it'll show us an error. Are you serious? Amount cannot be changed. This is the exact same error which we have written down over here. Are you serious? Amount can't be changed. And this is something that we call as trigger exception. I'll come back to this later again. 
uh, if you are not able to see this properly let me just show it to you once again we will just edit the complete record like this just change it by one save it are you serious amount can't be changed so that is how this works and uh, in order to understand it on an, an architecture level or uh, a list level I would not say architecture level again and again but on a list level this is how it works so let us say uh, trigger.old in trigger.old we have got all the references to all the records this code is do what this code is doing is it is picking up the first record and then matching it up with record 1 if the id is same uh, then it executes the other uh, condition as well which is the amount 1 otherwise it goes on to the next record if the id does not match it goes on to the next record if the id does not match it, it goes on to the next record and if anywhere if the id matches then it checks the uh, amount fields value and if the amount fields value is same it uh, just allows this record to get saved and if the amount fields value is different it shows a uh, trigger exception and how to show a trigger exception you can just add new op new op is nothing but a reference of uh, the opportunity record which we are trying to update if we want to show this error onto a particular field all what we can do is new op dot uh, new op dot the field value right amount dot add error so now this error will be shown onto the uh, this error will be shown onto the field instead of the page layout are you serious amount can't be changed this is how it goes right i hope you are able to understand trigger.old as well